Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot. And uh, today, well, we're gonna do something with my Kubota L4701. My buddy sent me this picture today and I said, that's a pretty cool idea. I wonder if we can recreate that. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through my version of chain storage on the tractor. Now I always keep a chain with me on the tractor. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need it. It's about four feet long and I use it all the time. You can see currently I've got it draped right there and that works out well, but I actually have two style of chains. One that's got a, uh, what do they call this? Like a uh, choker end on it. So you can put it around the chain and as you pull tight, it tightens up. And I also have a secondary chain over here. Same exact idea, except this has got the regular hook on it so you can hook it onto a link. I'd like to keep both of them with me on the tractor at all times, but I can't given the current setup. I used to hang that other one just on one of these links, but it would end up falling off. What we're gonna do is I've got some three inch PVC right here that conveniently fits right in that tube of the loader right there. I've also got some of these test plugs that we're gonna put in the end and we'll see how it goes. I think the first thing we need to do is cut this to size because currently it is too long. So I put this stopper on here just to give it something to grab onto. And as you can see, it's a nice tight fit. But it is in here. Uh, just put this on here so I got something to grab. But I want it to sit inside because I don't want this nut proud of the loader in case I catch a tree or some branch or something. I don't want to bend that. So you'll be able to see I got uh, plenty left over here still. So obviously this needs to be cut down. We need to take a measurement of how far inside the tube the PVC needs to sit. Take a measurement of the loader and then cut it to size. Once we cut it to size, we will be able to cut the center of it out to lay chain in. So about, about an inch. If I do an inch, that'll be plenty. So. I need to subtract an inch for this side, inch for that side. So whatever this overall length of the inside of this is, we need to subtract two inches. So 43 and a half minus two is 41 and a half. So we need to cut our PVC to 41 and a half. Got my chops out because I want it to be a nice straight cut. And uh, yeah, we'll get to marketing and cutting. So this should be our overall length plus the plugs. I'm actually going to go get the other plug because it will fit inside here. I guess I could do that, put the other plug on here quick. So the reason that I went with a plug and not some sort of cap is I wanted much as much interior space inside this tube as I can get. If you went with a two inch PVC instead of a three inch, you would be able to put an exterior cap on this. But if I went with the three inch tube with an exterior cap, the cap would have to sit proud of this loader and I didn't, I didn't wanna mess with that. They also make super thin test caps that you can slide in here and glue in here, but my store that I went to didn't have any. So that should sit right there and we'll go take a look at the other side. If I measured correctly, oh boy, look at that. Perfect, exactly how I wanted it. So now what we need to do is pull it back out, put some lines on it, get the jigsaw out, and cut the top out of it. So I'm gonna end up cutting it on the uh, forks here because that'll just be the easiest. So I'm actually just gonna use some welding clamps to uh, to hold it in place.
Now we just need to mark how far we want it in, which I'm going to do three inches. What do I have? I don't have a flexi ruler. What do I have that I can wrap on that? Piece of cardboard. Piece of cardboard. So essentially this piece right here we're going to cut out. You know, this whole top will be gone. But uh, nobody really likes square edges. So I'm going to see if I can find something to put a curve on that. Something like that maybe. There you go. So now you should have a pretty good idea of how this is going to work. This will slide in here like so. Cap goes on the end. Pull it out. Chain sits in here. Let's uh, put the test caps on and try it out. Oh yeah, I like that fit. It's enough that it resists a little bit, but not enough that you can't pull it out. All right, let me grab my chains. And you can pull it all the way out to there. Wow. So it looks like you can, I mean, sturdily put it all the way out to here. So that gives you 36 inches of free play. So this first chain is the chain I normally don't keep on my tractor, but would love to. Just shove it in here. We'll push it in a little bit so it doesn't get overweighed. And then here's the second one. All tucked away, nice and flush on both sides. I think I'm gonna figure out something for maybe a little grab handle on here. I don't know what yet though. I wonder if I have a little piece of, maybe a little piece of round bar I could put here to put my two fingers in. So what's in here, put my two fingers around it, grab it and just pull it out. I mean, I like how tight it is though, because honestly, one of my fears was that it would just slide out. But there you have it. She's done. Well, that was a quick little uh, little video that you guys can do. I mean, talk about minimal tools. Three inch PVC, two test caps, a jigsaw, and I had to use a drill bit to get the jigsaw started. And you're done. I mean, total cost, I think these test plugs were like five bucks each. This PVC I had laying around. So I've got a total of 30 minutes of my time and 10 bucks invested. And now I get to store my chain in here. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe.
It would make me happy. It would make you happy. Everybody would be happy if you subscribed. Until the next video, I hope you guys have a great day.